Well, here we are again for a little bit of cooking with Mrs. Rose, although today I've decided to go the Star Wars theme, and I'm Chewbacca. Obviously, Chewbacca needs to keep himself clean, so we'll put on the apron. And again, I've washed my hands. Make sure you do wash your hands before you start cooking. It's very, very hot already in here. So today we're making banana bread. I have some bananas that have seen better days, but do not despair, we can use those. So you need ripe bananas, plain flour, caster sugar, um, vanilla, bicarb, all these ingredients. We're going to put some cocoa in because we like a bit of chocolate in our house. So first of all, I'm going to melt the butter and I'm going to do that in the microwave, but we need the butter first. So I'm just going to disappear into my Wookiee fridge. Here we go, we've still got a bit of stalk left over from last time. So with my special spoon, I'm going to measure out how much butter do we need? 125 grams. So let me just move things out of the way so you can see. So 125, about four ounces. So very nearly there. 125, there we go. So again, it's really good if you want to use your math skills. We're going to put it in the microwave and melt it. Um, about 40 seconds thereabouts. Obviously, just keep an eye on it. Whilst that's melting, we can put the flour, the baking powder, and the bicarbonate of soda all in a bowl. So I need 175 grams of plain flour. I know it's really hard to get flour at the moment. So 175 is about there. And that goes in there, like so. Next we need half a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. And that goes in there like that. And we need two teaspoons of baking powder. So one, two. Also need a little bit of salt. So here we go. I forgot to say, I've put my oven on to 170 to heat, but ask mummy, daddy, whoever is allowed to use the oven to heat it up for you. So a little bit of salt. I don't normally put salt in. Because I'm being videoed, I thought I ought to. So I've put all of that in, give it a little bit of a stir, that's fine. Next we need the melted butter, hopefully it's melted, not quite, so we'll do it a bit longer. Didn't seem to want to do it there. Just rinse my hands, it's nice touching my face. Right, next, so we're going to need our bananas. They are a little bit brown, nice. We're going to use those in a minute and we're going to mash them so you can have really good fun with your hands getting all mucky. In this bowl, we're going to put some sugar. So I've got caster sugar and I need 150 grams of caster sugar. So 100, 120, 140, 150. That goes into this bowl. When the butter is ready, I'm going to mix them up together with two eggs. It sounds to me like that butter is done. Here it is. So we're going to mix the butter and the sugar till it's blended. Lovely. It's a good job I've got my wiki apron on so I don't want to get mucky. So there's the butter and the sugar. We're just letting the sugar disappear. So there we go. Nice sugary, buttery liquid now. Then we're going to beat in an egg. So there's one. Oh, let's take the shell out. There's one. Might get complaints from the children if I leave that shell in. So one egg. Comes to the next egg. Ugh. Two eggs. There we 
go. So those are beat, beat in together nicely. Can you see they're starting to mix, it's all nice and rich. Now is the gooey part. So you can use, this says to use four small, very ripe bananas. Depends how banana -y you want it and how many bananas you have. I have managed to do it before now with just two large ones. So you get your banana and you squish it. This is why your hands need to be super duper clean. It's a great activity, this. It's good fun. So you peel them out this way. We're not wasting our bananas either. And to me, this makes me think it's, it's not a bad cake for you. It's homemade and it's got a bit of fruit in it. So I'm sure Whoa, flying banana. My children will be enjoying this later. I won't be telling my husband it's got banana in. He's not so keen on bananas. So we squidge it in. I think we'll do one more for luck, just to use these bananas up. And here we go. Squidge, squidge. That is a bit mucky. So you can see my hands have got quite mucky from doing that. So I'm going to mix those together with the melted butter, the sugar and the eggs. Here we go. And next I'm going to add some vanilla essence to this mixture. So it's one teaspoon, so the little spoon, one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to mix that in. And then I want to have this as a bit chocolatey, so I've got my flour mix, if you remember what was in there, that was the baking powder, uh, the bicarbonate soda, a little bit of salt, I'm going to just guess how much chocolate I need to go in there, so about two tablespoons is enough, give that a little stir, there we go. And then I'm going to add about a third of this flour at a time into the eggs. So that means a third, if you two remember their fractions, I'm going to split this into threes, but I'm estimating. So don't worry too much if you slip and put all of it in. It has been known that Mrs. Rose has done that. And then a bit more. Can you see it's all mixing together? So you want to get this into a gooey mixture. You can add sultanas to this, um, if you like sultanas. My children aren't too keen on them, so instead of being super healthy with sultanas, we've got the chocolate option. And then we make sure this is all mixed in. And I'm going to line, well, I'm going to butter the um, bread tin this is going to make banana bread so there we go look it's a very gloopy mixture don't worry it's meant to be that runny there we go so that's all mixed in then i'm going to quickly butter the insides of this tin so just with a little bit of your margarine or your butter whatever you've got to hand so put it in like, whoops easy in like that I'm going to flour it as well, so I'll just get a little bit of flour, give it a little shake about, there we go, making quite a mess. And then that's it really, you just get your lovely mixture and pour it into the cake tin, look at that. Right, now this is where Mrs Rose hasn't thought this through, she needs a spatula which is in the top drawer behind her. So my daughter who is videoing is finding me a spatula as we speak. Yeah, she's found it, well done. So that, thank you, that will take out all of this loveliness. It's, it does smell really yummy. I wish you could smell it. Um, this is another favorite of the staff room. We do like our cake. So there we go, cake is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put it on the bottom shelf 
and I'm going to leave that for about one hour, one and a quarter hours. It takes quite a long time to cook because it's on a low heat. When, it, when you think it's done, so get mum or dad to check it, when they think it's done you poke a um, skewer all the way through or a fork and if it comes out clean that means it's done. Really really easy one to make. I think I might have to write these uh, recipes up at some time. So thank you very much. I will show you once again when the cake is ready. So uh, have a lovely rest of the day. See you soon. Ta-da! The cake is ready. The force has worked. We now have banana.